I really realized there that engineering wasn't really my thing. My true calling was fundamental science research because it's not just about that question. It's about how all the concepts connect together. And for that, I felt that what Fridji, Akash and so on do, that might be fine for engineering, but it's not enough for KBPY, Akhil Bhaiya, Vivek Bhaiya, Soumya Bhaiya, Munri Nadi. Everyone would be there and we would discuss not just about academics, but about life in general, if, if any of us were facing any problems. None of that is ever done in a conventional coaching institute, you know. So I went there. That pretty much changed my life. Hi everyone, my name is Aditya Ruplaha and I'm currently in ISI pursuing my second year of BSTAT. I was a student of Sayastra in the 2020-2021 session, that is I gave my exams in 2021. I achieved a NEST All India rank of 12, unreserved, an IIT rank of 137, also unreserved. And I also got JE Advanced, KVPY uh, in both SA and SX. Apart from that, I have also participated in Olympiads and qualified NSEC. I remember when I first started at Sayastra, it was just an open mock test that it was free for all. I had just given the exam to check my preparation for NEST because I was thinking of getting into NISA and I got only 66. So yeah, I was pretty shocked to see how underprepared I was. So I decided to join the course. My final score in the exam was 109 and my marks in the mock tests regularly reached around 120. Sayastra really helped me gain a new perspective to this preparation thing that we do after we finish our class trips. You know, in conventional coaching institutes, we really focus so much on um, just getting the question done. Yeah, which is fine. But the thing is, in these research-oriented examinations like KVPY, IAT, NEST, and so on, you really need a more holistic approach to solving all the questions. Because it's not just about that question, it's about how all the concepts connect together. And for that, I felt that what Fridji, Akash and so on do, that might be fine for engineering, but it's not enough for KBPY and these other examinations. So something that is more focused for this particular approach to examination is much better. I remember that after every mock test and or POIQ, we would have an interaction session. Akhil Bhaiya, Vivek Bhaiya, Soumya Bhaiya, Munri Nadi. Everyone would be there and we would discuss not just about academics, but about life in general, if, if any of us were facing any problems. None of that is ever done in a conventional coaching institute, you know. And it is that personal touch is what I feel is lacking in exam prep in India. And because they were just a few years seniors, senior to us, we could connect with them much better. This is also something which I found very unique in Sayastra. Who would be my favorite mentor? I guess it would be Akhil Bhaiya because the other subject I, I actually had as part of my coursework in school. But biology, I really didn't ever study properly after class 10. Yet in KBPY, IIT, NEST, I did pretty well in bio. I think bio was my second strongest section in NEST. One question I get asked a lot is why I went for research instead of the well-beaten track of engineering or medical. To be honest, I wasn't completely sure what I was going to do when I started my class 11 and I took up science. I had PCM with CS. So I was pretty confident that I was not going to bio as an IITJ aspirant. And yeah, I was preparing for engineering and so on. My heart wasn't really in it at any time. I'm of course thankful to all my teachers there. They have, of course, taught me a lot, but I really didn't find the end goal really that appealing to myself. That is, um, one thing that I should tell you first is that I had cracked NTAC in class 10. So I was in invited to a nurturance camp at Nizer Bhuvaneshwar in 2019. To be exact, 7th December to 14th December. I remember the dates now. So I went there. That pretty much changed my life. I attended all the seminars and all. I also met Akhil and Vivek Bhaiya for the first time there. I really realized there that engineering wasn't really my thing. My true calling was fundamental science research. Then I thought about it, that what can I do? I had already cracked SA at that point, but yeah, I remember I was in NISA when I got the news that 
I was selected. I had to first think to myself that what I really wanted to do and once I had decided that yes, I wanted to pursue research. Fast forward a few months, my SX exam hadn't gone that well. I had I had be I had qualified, I had cracked the exam, but my rank wasn't really that good. So I realized that ISC was going to be really difficult for me. So I really had to think about what I was going to do. So NYSA seemed like a very good option because I've already been there and I really liked the environment there. Then I found out that Akhil Bhaiya and Vivek Bhaiya were launching a course for NYSA preparation. Like first of all, I was skeptical that, huh, do I really need it? Then of course, once I gave the exam, I realized that I did need it. So I went for it and I can say with confidence that that was the most fun I had had in my entire exam prep phase that we call 13th class. Like after your board exams, like we didn't have board exams due to COVID, but after your board exams finish and you have to like the whole process of giving all the exams and everything. That's all I'm going to say because Syastra, even though that like the name Syastra did not exist back then, it really shaped me in a way that it's really hard to describe because if I had not gone to that nurturance camp, if I had not gone for the course, I wouldn't be where I am. I would have, I don't know what I would have done. So yeah, like if for anyone who is seriously interested in science, because as like a fundamental science, science for the sake of science, I feel that one, you should join, try to join these institutes, ISI, CMI, ISERS, NISERS, ISC, because scientists are necessary in the world. Agar sab log engineering engineer or doctor when get science kaun dekha ya bhai if you are really into research and want to join these institutes which i think you should you should always consider that as an option if you are a science student science is the best option for you